Yesterday was the cutoff for DREAMers to renew their status under the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals program. Close to 20,000 Coloradans would have uh, uh, would have needed to, uh, excuse me, would have needed to renew their applications to remain in the country legally. Uh, Michael, this has got this has received a lot of national exposure due to the change of opinion, the change of policy with President Trump, really shifting it to Congress. But do you think this is going to be made a bigger local deal? Because frankly, twenty thousand Coloradans, that's a lot of people. Yeah, I think it is a big local deal, um, and especially because universities are impacted, uh, employers are impacted, and so uh, it is a, a big focus here in Colorado. I think um, that it's it's a confusing process. You, you look at it, 23% of the people who were eligible didn't get their paperwork in by yesterday when the deadline was. Uh, there are groups out there educating people about these deadlines. I think it's good. There's that six-month window that the uh, the president has talked about, um, but I think there needs to be more clarity in general. You know, what's going to happen with this? Is Congress going to act or not? Um, but I think at the larger broad broader immigration issue is nobody's happy right now, right? So DACA hasn't been dealt with on, on one side. The other side, people are mad that the wall hasn't been built. And uh, I think a couple weeks ago, uh, the president was talking about that they're sampling the wall. Um, and I don't remember in the rallies the, the sampling phase is part of the uh, uh, of the deal. But uh, I think Congress needs to act. They need to make it clear. So, you know, we're dealing with people's lives and, and that's an important part. And so hopefully they move quickly. Just seeing if there's any common ground in the immigration debate, it's around dreamers. You have uh, kids who are not brought here but with, with really their permission. They, they were brought here. They, they didn't come here uh, on their own volition. Uh, they're usually students. You, you, you see them in news. They're, they're uh, doing well academically. These are the kind of citizens, we, the kind of people we want as citizens in this country. Uh, do you think because of that, this is something that can actually get done in Congress? Is there enough political will to make this happen? Uh, I certainly hope so. I mean, when you look at Congress, I'm never optimistic that there's anything that can be proactively passed. But um, this is an issue I think that it's a lot easier for people to see that there it's right and wrong, a situation between right and wrong. And so I'm hoping that, you know, we do find a long-term solution and that we can move this forward and that there are enough people that maybe this is the issue that both sides can come together on and finally have some type of agreement and move something forward for once. <laughs> You know, we'll see, though. Erica, uh, President Trump gave a, a six-month deadline. Um, I'm not sure if that is arbitrary or not, but uh, Congress is usually not very good with deadlines. You can probably look at the budget process for that. Uh, does it get done in six months, or do dreamers become a political football uh, for months after that? I think there's very much a feeling that the dreamers are a political football or perhaps even a political hostage to things that, that different sides want. There's sort of broad agreement that something should be done so that this group of people has a pathway to to legal status because of their very sympathetic circumstances. But you have all these different groups that want other things. Um, and the Trump administration has put forward an immigration policy that would reduce the numbers of legal immigration. There's border security. And there's I, my inbox is full of advo advocacy groups saying, pass a clean Dreamer Act. Like, don't put us in the middle of all of this. But I think. Um, I think probably they are going to end up in the middle, and I don't know what's going to happen. Patty, we've been uh, at this table for 25 years, you specifically, the, the whole time. Uh, we've seen the immigration debate go back and forth, but not a whole lot of solutions. What faith do you have that we'll see something of material uh, matter on the, the DACA solution? Well, I would hope we would see something and see something soon because that six months is already being frittered away. And you have these 20,000 kids here and then around the country they are they they came here through no choice of their own they've been working they've been paying taxes this is their life their life is not in mexico or whatever country they came from their parents brought them from so we have to come up with a solution but i agree that i'm afraid it's a game of chicken and everyone's going to use them as the bargaining chip for whatever else they want about immigration